So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a basic webhook and integrate it with Dialogflow CX. So what is a webhook? A webhook is basically a custom piece of code that we can deploy and then uh, use within Dialogflow CX. So even though Dialogflow CX is super powerful in creating very complex um, conversational interfaces, at some point we may hit the point where we need to build some custom logic and that is only that is possible using so-called uh, serverless functions or cloud functions which is another product in in the google cloud suite so basically what we will do is create a, a serverless function in google cloud and then connect it up with dialogflow cx so there's a, if you have used Dialogflow Essentials before, there's a bit of a difference because in Essentials, we can edit the, this webhook function right away from the Dialogflow console, but in CX, it's a bit more uh, manual work involved to connect the two. But the advantage is that we can integrate more than one uh, uh, webhook fun uh, function, more than one serverless function. And for this, I've created a new Dialogflow bot from scratch and we'll just play around a bit with different uh, webhooks. So the first thing I'm going to do is to head to uh, console.cloud.google.com. And then I need to make sure that I select the same cloud project where also my Dialogflow CX bot uh, resides. Then we need to select uh, cloud functions, which I've pinned above here, but in case you did not pin it, you just go to, oh, where is it? To the serverless category, select cloud functions. And then if you've never created a cloud function in that project, you will see this, just click create. We'll name our function welcome. I'm going to base it in the same location as my chat bot. And for this example, we're going to allow unauthenticated invocations just to keep it simple, just because we're not going to expose any sensitive data in this endpoint. Uh, we can keep it easy for now. And then I'm going to just reduce those numbers here a little bit just to reduce the risk of me having to pay a lot of money in case uh, someone decides to make use of this. Uh, publicly available function excessively and now I've just hit deploy on this a boilerplate piece of code that was already there after I created the function so we're just going to see what happens with that uh, one thing I forgot however was to copy the URL of the function I will do that in a second second for now we will create a, the corresponding webhook in Dialogflow CX so that we can then connect it in the same in the next step. Uh, I know I did copy the webhook, webhook URL. That's great. So here I can just hit save. And then we've created the webhook. And for the basic start, I'm just going to integrate the webhook with the default welcome intent so that we trigger it here. Uh, so here we can select the webhook and then a tag is basically a, just a piece of uh, text that we can pass additionally to the webhook, which is also new in Dialogflow CX. It wasn't part of Dialogflow ES. Um, and so let's, we're almost ready to test. I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to add an event handler to handle webhook errors. So we've got two uh, system events for webhooks. One is the timeout. And if you paid attention, I set the timeout of the webhook to five seconds. So in case that the uh, execution of the, web, of the webhook takes longer than five seconds, then this would be triggered. It won't be the case now because the function is super simple. So for now, we're just gonna use the webhook error. So in case there's an error, then this event will be triggered. Because I'm adding it to the start page, it will be triggered across the whole um, flow and for uh, the message we're just going to say webhook error just as a yeah basically as a debug message so let's try this i'm just going to check that the 
yeah so this um, check indicates that the function has been deployed successfully so let's use it and then we can see okay great apparently the webhook was triggered but now we got this webhook error so why is this happening uh, of course we didn't uh, really write any code here yet we just used the boilerplate and this is the problem so what happens here is that we just return this hello world string and even though what dialog flows x expects to get back from the webhook is basically a piece of text that it can use as an answer uh, we need to return it in the format that is expected by dialogflow cx which is a json object so i'm gonna copy that from here it's also you can find the same in the um, uh, what's it called in the dialogflow cx uh, documentation so basically i've copied it from there and then instead of returning this message we are going to return this json response object and i'm going to add one more thing i'm going to try to extract the tag that i pass from dialogflow cx which i did in the previous step so we can this is the request object and all the information that's part of the request sent to the webhook uh, is nested in here and we can access the tag uh, like this so now let's just say if there's a tag we will just return it and otherwise we'll do all those other things and return hello world if there's nothing in any of those uh, just having one more look this looks good to me so let's hit deploy and this will take a couple of seconds so I'm going to go ahead and prepare really the next step for a couple of seconds the next step will be to add another page and then ask for the age of the user and then we'll pass the age to the next version of the webhook and then do a little calculation so what i will do here is in this uh, welcome intent i'm going to create a new page which will be called uh, age And then I've got that here now. And we will ask the user for the age. So what's your age? Uh, no, you know what? We're not going to use the entry fulfillment. We're just going to use the, uh, we're going to use the form filling. So let's, let's see. Uh, select an integer number here which is the age and then we're going to prompt here and then in just a second we're going to add the webhook here but we need to create it first so now let's check yeah this is deployed which i can see from the check and let's try again hi uh so now instead of webhook error we get the out put uh, welcome so it seems like what we did worked and just to recap what we did uh, we went into the welcome intent added the this welcome webhook and then I passed a tag welcome so in case uh, I could now just add a, another random piece of word and add it pass it as a tag and then this will come back so yeah, I know it doesn't sound, seem very impressive, but what we've done just now is we've sent this piece of text to this cloud function, which lives somewhere else outside of Dialogflow CX. And then we've returned a response, which is then output by Dialogflow CX. So even though it's basic, it's pretty cool that we made that work. And now let's just go one step further. Uh, instead of using now the tag, we will use and i'm going to uh, duplicate this function for that instead of using the tag we're going to use the age parameter that we already set up in dialogflow cx just now and use that okay settings are the same here yep safe and we're going to use the uh, parameter to make a little 
calculation and then give an output. So because I'm only human, I cannot remember everything by heart. <laughs> I prepared this here. I'm going to just copy it over for now. So we're going to leave all of this, but basically we're not going to use it because in the end we are going to listen to a parameter. So remember what I explained was that this is the request object and it has all the yeah all the metadata that comes with the request that is sent to the webhook and from the request object we can uh, uh, access the session info object which then has nested all the parameters that are part of our session. So since I set up a, a form in, in my H page in Dialogflow CX, uh, as soon as the user has added their H, then this is filled with the H parameter. And then only if this is present, uh, we're going to basically do a little calculation here with the H and just add 10 years. And just for fun, we're gonna output the message. If you were 10 years older, you would be this H plus 10, uh, just as a basic demonstration that we can add some uh, yeah, business logic here and return a dynamic response. Now, let me take one more look. Uh, this should actually already work. So let's hit deploy. <clears throat> and by the way, one thing I forgot to mention is the first time you uh, hit deploy for a cloud function, I've done it before in this project, but if it's the first time in your project, you will need to uh, activate the so-called um, cloud build API. So this is a an older, um, yeah, warning or error message that I got here that I needed to enable this cloud build API, which is basically another product that's used to deploy uh, cloud infrastructure. So you just need to, once you get the prompt, you just need to follow it and just uh, hit accept and enable, and then you should be fine. And now while this is deploying, let's put the finishing touches on our bot here. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave this as it is. And then I've got my form here. We're going, we're prompting the user for the age. And now we just need to handle when we've got the H. And for that, I'm going to create a uh, let's see, a conditional route. Uh, sorry, it's hard to speak and write at the same time. So once we've got all the parameters in this page set, which is just one, the H, we will trigger another webhook. And here, I need my URL. Ah, where is it? So what I'm gonna do is hit save. I'm gonna head here because I know what I changed. I'm gonna create the new webhook here, call it H, and then I know that I uh, named this also slash H, so that should be the correct one. And I'm gonna go back here and select this H webhook. And for the, for the tag, it doesn't matter uh, what we pass here because we are not gonna use it. Um, and I believe this should already work. So let's try it. If this is, yep, it's got the check. So it's uh, deployed. Let's try it. What's your age? 41. And now I get the output. If you were 10 years older, you would be 51. So we've added uh, 10 years to the age that we received as a parameter and we've returned it back. So this is great. So just to recap, uh, we have set up a custom piece of code uh, by creating a cloud function in Google Cloud Platform, which is basically a different product in the Google Cloud Suite, but it's built to be integrated with Dialogflow CX. So we've deployed that custom piece of code and then hooked up the URL under which we can reach this custom piece of code to Dialogflow CX. 
and then we've gone through three iterations with it. The first one didn't work because we just returned a static piece of text. And then we use this uh, nested object, which is expected by Dialogflow CX with the fulfillment response and then messages. And we can actually return, we could return more than one message in this array. In this example, we just return one message. And then we've extracted the tag that we can pass from the Dialogflow CX console. Uh, and then we also extracted a parameter and used it to do some calculation. So I hope that, that this uh, was useful for you as an example. And by the way, one, one thing I would do as the next thing would be to uh, rename this function to calculate age instead of hello world, because hello world at this point doesn't make any sense anymore. And then you just need to make sure that you as name the entry point the same as this function that you want to be triggered. But anyway, I hope this was useful and see you in the next video.